So, you, so you just want me to talk about the show? Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell us about the show. Man. Um, well, uh, Serial Blogger is uh, comes in three parts. There's some online video. Uh, you go to extrashank.com.au to see that. Uh, it's about 32 blogs uh, where you see four characters interact and get to know each other. One of those characters is a serial killer. Uh, all of the characters are, are kind of strange, um, extreme kind of uh, constructions of self. They kind of, I guess, put on. They're characters of characters in a way. Um, so I guess, yeah, because they're avatars, I guess they're, they're kind of role playing themselves. Um, and then the, the second part is there's some iHub touchscreens across uh, Melbourne. And if you go to xmachine.com.au, there's a map for that. And um, yeah, so you, you can, uh, on the touch screens, there's a little bit more information about the, uh, the characters. And I guess that kind of blurs the line between, uh, between reality and this sort of fantasy online story. Because all of a sudden the story is now in the streets of Melbourne and it's being treated as though it were real. Uh, and then uh, we take the, the iHubs into a, a live performance installation which is uh, at the meat market in North Melbourne. Uh, and there you will see those four characters in the flesh uh, interacting and you'll see the kind of grim finale to, to the story. Um, and you know the characters are all very hyper real, very kind of over over the top, but not in a theatrical sense. More in a in a kind of uh, I guess cyber culture uh, sense. They're all very individual. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the real point. Cool. Um, do you need to go to the website before the show? Uh, you can go to the website before the show. I guess I, I recommend you do. You can watch it afterwards. I mean. One of the things we talked about when we were developing the show was that it, it can be non-linear, a non-linear experience, and the user can kind of choose the order of their experience. Um, my preference would be to the videos, then the iHub, then the performance installation, but of course it's totally up to the user. Cool. Thanks, dude. Look forward to the show. Right, bye.